Hi, in this video we're going to look at the use of filters. Filters allow us to filter out things that we don't want to see. This enables us to, uh, to look at data more closely, to look for patterns and trends. So the first thing I'm going to do is to show you firstly how to activate the filter. So what you need to do is to highlight across the heading row and then you need to click on your data menu and come across the filter and when you click the filter button it puts the drop down uh, arrows at the top of each of your column headings. So say for example I've got a lot of data here so say for example I wanted to, uh, to look at um, all the responses for people that do not play on console. If I drop down the filter icon here I can choose whether or uh, what to show or what to filter out of my data. So I want this to show everybody that does not play on console. So I'm going to uncheck the Y and then that will leave, uh, when I click OK, only the people that do not play on console, uh, the, uh, the, the feedback from them or from their surveys. So I could do that type of filter. I can choose then to clear the filter once I've done analyzing the data. If I decided I want to display all of the people that had chosen um, to play on console, so I'll do that. Okay, I can do a further filter then to see how many of those people that actually play on console are female. So I could drop down the gender filter and I could choose not to show male. And now what I'm showing is all of the people that play on console that are female. So it allows me to look at the data in that way. I could do a number filter. So let's just clear the filter from there and let's clear the filter from here. I could look at all of the people who play for five hours a day. So I can choose not to show any of those and then select the one I want to display. So I can uh, show uh, just the people who play five hours a day and analyze that data, look for patterns and trends there. And for the final thing I want to show you is um, the use of a um, of a custom filter. So say for example on age I wanted to display all of the people uh, that have completed the survey that are older than 17 or above. Okay I can drop down the um, the age filter and I can come down to number filters and I can create a custom filter. Okay and now I can do a custom filter where um, is where I can choose the number is greater than or equal to 17. Okay, and then when I click OK, that then filters out everybody apart from the 17 and 18 year olds. So that, uh, and of course you can do the, uh, that was with a combination of different fields. So that is how you use and apply filters in your spreadsheet. So it filters out the things that you do not want to see.